The governor announcing the formation of a state task force to acquire that critical gear, which he says should be coming instead from the federal government. 24 hours after trading barbs on Twitter, Governor Pritzker and President Trump appearing to mend fences. I spoke with him directly about our need for N95 masks and for ventilators. Pritzker says the federal government has filled just a fraction of Illinois' requests for masks, gloves, and other personal protective equipment. The state left to acquire that critical PPE on its own. During their call, the governor says he urged the president to utilize the Defense Production Act to direct private companies to help produce more medical supplies. He didn't so much like uh, the idea of invoking the Defense Production Act, uh, but he did say, you know, what do you need? Uh, let me see if I can get that for you. I spoke with uh, J.B. Pritzker, called me today. Uh, we're going to be helping them out in Illinois. That promise of federal help has for weeks been unfulfilled, says Pritzker. So the state has created a PPE task force with the help of the manufacturing and biotech industries. We are coming together to help protect our health care workers and our first responders to combat COVID-19 in Illinois. Governor Pritzker says he's personally been calling CEOs of medical supply companies to buy ventilators and other equipment because the federal government has failed to centralize those purchases. In one case, they told me I was competing with FEMA to acquire ventilators. So I'm competing against the federal government to get ventilators for the state of Illinois. The governor says weeks ago his team requested some 4,000 respirators from, uh, from the federal government. So far, the state has received, he says, not a single one. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.